Hi everyone, good afternoon. Uh, it's James here, founder of Panache Cruises. I'm delighted to say this afternoon, I've got with me Paul Beale, Senior Director for Sales for Regent Seven Seas Cruises. So welcome, Paul. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing very, very well indeed. Thank you for having me. Thank you for entertaining us this, this afternoon as well. Oh, it's, it's all right, Paul. No, uh, thanks, thanks for giving up your time. I know it's a really busy day for Regent today. Tell us a little bit about what's happening today. It is. Well, literally, as we speak, uh, um, we are going live with our new season launch for 2022-2023 um, for Region 7 Seas new launch. So we've been in anticipation of this. Um, we're hoping that some of your guests there have been seen uh, your marketing towards this, advertising this, and have, have really got to this culmination, have got to this point to go live. Uh, we've seen some huge uh, demand for our 2023 World Cruise, which we launched about a month ago. Uh, we actually broke records with it when we launched that. It's the first ever cruise, to my knowledge, um, that we have sold out a full world cruise um, without any segments in it at all. So the demand for future cruising is there. So we're hoping for a really, really huge day today for our new season launch. That, that's unbelievable, Paul. And uh, we did a, a survey to some of our customer base just a few weeks ago. And, you know, the, without doubt, the, the demand is out there. But I, I think, you know, people are obviously a little bit nervous, a little bit cautious at the moment um, and are, you know, are, are wanting to, to understand, you know, when cruising is going to restart, what it looks like on board. Uh, and, you know, I think that one of the key things about today might be, you know, why should they book today? You know, what are the key reasons? So, you know, should we tackle some of those issues first or have you, have you got any questions for me? Well, uh, absolutely. I mean, I can always get onto sales questions on there, but actually before we do, I mean, James, it's, it's, been a, it's been a while since we've chatted, really, hasn't it? Before we get onto all the kind of juicy stuff there. But, yeah. you know, you've just you opened this business, Panache Cruises. You're there. Why now? Why in the middle of this pandemic have you suddenly chose to, to, to start a new company up? Yeah, I'll be honest. I, a lot of people have asked me that question, Paul. And uh, I think the, the answer is quite straightforward. That Panache Cruises, we're not about this year. We're not about this month. We're about what's going to be happening in cruising five, 10 or 15 years time. And, you know, the, the, the pandemic's obviously had a, a, a major impact in, on everybody's lives and, you know, uh, more so uh, within the cruise industry. You know, it's been catastrophic uh, uh, in, in the short term. But, uh, you know, the long term future of the cruise industry we see as being exceptionally strong and, and going on uh, from, from strength to strength. So we're here for the medium and long term, not just the short term. And, you know, you've got to start a, a new business at some point. Uh, and why not start now? Uh, why not build the foundations while the market is uh, not at its strongest and, you know, then grow uh, when, the, when the market returns? That's, I think, the, the broad brush approach and you know we, we've also seen uh, a bit of a, a gap in the market for for some of the things that we're offering as well we've had a long time to kind of think about it and prepare it haven't you so you are presuming you're you're ready to pounce i mean i know you've already been doing good business for us and for others anyway over the last is it a few months now how long you've been set up for now it's yeah we, we soft launched in may um and we built up a, a database largely using social media and a few other channels and uh, that was really successful for us uh, and then since July, we've been on sale taking bookings. Uh, we've got a team of around 15 people uh, now. Um, and yeah, th th things are going really well. Um, Regent fits nicely into our elite ocean category, uh, but we're also focusing on uh, luxury river cruise, expedition, and what we're calling yacht style cruising as well. All underpinned with exceptional uh, customer service, end-to-end -end customer service, you speak to, speak to the same person, the same connoisseur uh, from the moment you call us right the way through to you returning from your holiday. And one of, one of our big things is we, we don't um, get caught up in, in technology, uh, call center technology. So you call us, you dial the number, it rings and somebody answers. You know, we, we use technology as an enabler uh, for customer service, not a replacement. So and that, and that's know, great. Going, going back to the good old days, I guess, of customer service. And that's and that's why, you know, you're, you're a great suitor for us really as well. And, and all of the ultra luxury service that we offer on board Regent. And we hope that is both um, pre in working with yourselves, obviously during when they're on board and also the follow up that we do as well. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly back to new season launch. 
um, for the for, for today we're excited so we've got a, a low deposit that is in there um, early booking we always uh, um, guarantee the best pricing as well there so that we can make sure you know we're raising but the main thing is really is the demand uh, as we mentioned before about the world cruise you know these cruises will sell very very quickly in there as well certainly the upper suites our distinctive suites so the biggest suites that we have on board always sell first on any launch that we do um, usually quickly followed by the the leading suites as well there so certainly if any of those in particular uh, um, then that's really worth it but we've got some some incredible uh, um, sailings some incredible benefits uh, if you're sailing within europe you can get penthouse uh, um, business class flights um, we've got one in uh, November 2022, which is going from Lisbon down to Cape Town, uh, 24 nights, uh, all the way down that west coast of Africa, going into some fabulous, fabulous ports in there uh, for only £10,000, which is there instead, for 24 nights on board an ultra luxury vessel. And the tip there, again, is to make sure that you book up to the penthouse because you'll then get business class flights back from both Cape Town, but also from um, on the way out to Lisbon as well. So that's just one of the, the many, many crews that we have on offer. Uh, and when you break it down per day and what's included, because we include more than any other cruise line that is out there, whether it be um, shore excursions, the uh, um, premium drinks, the premium food, all of these specialty restaurants, your flights, your transfers. Uh, but once again, the speciality, so the, the all included shore excursions, which allow you to really explore uh, a destination, not just to get off there in the port, uh, um, but to really explore the destination and immerse yourself in the culture, the cuisine uh, or the history or anything else that is there as well. And I mean, you've, you've, you've traveled on board yourself, haven't you? I think you were last on board on Explore, I believe. Yeah, I was really, really fortunate to be invited to um, the uh, launch ceremony of, of Explorer back in 2016, that was. Um, yeah. Fantastic, uh, um, you know, launch, launch ceremony and then, and then stayed on board for seven days. What, what an absolutely fantastic ship. You know, seven the, days on board. Wow. Now that's, that's a great way to, to kind of, you know, try out a, a brand new ship that's there as well. Yeah, no, absolutely, Paul. And it's, you know, it's an unbelievable product. It, it, it's a premium product with a premium price. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, for those people looking for the pinnacle of cruising and, you know, something that is ultra luxurious and that it just takes luxury to, to that extra level, that, that further, further step, Explorer and now, of course, Sister Ship Splendor. Uh, re really do take uh, a product to, to a new level and I'd, I'd wholeheartedly uh, recommend it to uh, to our customers as well. Well I, 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 well, I really appreciate endorsement because that's everything and your expertise in, in both not just the cruising world, but the luxury world is is, is appreciative when you, when you say that as well. But it's not all just down to the beautiful, spectacular, most luxurious ship ever built as, as, uh, as Explorer was and is. Uh, um, it's all down to the service as well and how we look after the guests and the small little things that we may do whilst on board as well, which you're able to do on a, on a small ship experience. And, and particularly in these days now with COVID and, and, and space requirements, you know, we have some of the highest space ratios in the industry, which means we never had queues beforehand. Uh, um, uh, you know, and, and so therefore it will, it, in these times, there, I think we've got something like 100 feet of space per person of public area, not including the suites, when we really drill down to kind of the level of detail as well. So it's incredible that, that, that we can offer that um, along with sailing safely whilst we're there as well, when, when we get back onto the water, and when we get sailing again. And I, I think the interesting thing as well about your launch promotion, Paul, you mentioned that Lisbon to South Africa um, sailing, you know, including business class flights, um, you know, as, as a free upgrade, uh, and you've got the loads of space on board. I mean, you know, that, that's perfect for the environment that we're in. You know, I think that uh, hits, hits the right uh, buttons with, with me, certainly, you know, that you can, you can travel out with more space on the aircraft, and then you've got uh, more space, uh, both in public areas, as you mentioned, and obviously within a penthouse suite on, on region, which are, are absolutely fantastic. So, and the, and the reason I referenced that one specifically, actually, is purely because 
we, we've had pre-registrations for the last week now, and that's been the one that our guests have found. You know, the, the, our guests are the experts. They're the ones that know this, this product through and through. And that's got the most uh, um, pre-registrations on to date out of any of them. So that's on the 12th of November, 2022, Lisbon down to Cape Town, as just one, as we mentioned before. Uh, oh. But there are numerous other ones, whether we're looking at uh, Mediterranean cruises, Baltic cruises, uh, um, Alaska on, ex on Explore, you know, on all of these different ones where we've had these USPs where you can go to these destinations, where you can use these shore excursions, and others may offer free shore excursions, but it may be one excursion in a port. We've got hundreds that, that we can choose from. You can go in up to three shore excursions in any one day in something like St. Petersburg. You're going the morning, the afternoon, and the evening if we're having an overnight stay uh, in the port as well. So it really is a, a way to really immerse yourself in the destination and, and to see that and, and to experience it as well. And it's another good point, the excursions, because I, I must admit, Paul, when I first heard about region, you know, including um, excursions, you know, the free excursions, uh, I was a little bit sceptical, but when I found and, and witnessed them myself, they, they are the best excursions out there uh, that are just included in the price. You know, it's not just running people into town uh, and then picking them up in a few hours time. It's it, it is the best excursions that, that are on sale out there, you know, escorted excursions, seeing fantastic sites and, and having fantastic experiences. There's been no expense spared just because they're included in the price of the, the cruise, which, you know, it was was a, was one thing I was really impressed about when I when I was on Legion. You can go you can go jet boating in Vanuatu in the morning and then go onto an all wheel drive uh, um, jungle trek in the afternoon, included within the price. Um, um, you know, you can go and San Martin. You can do America's Cup uh, um, yacht racing. This isn't the champagne you know, cruise, this is, you know, and I think you're a sailor as well, if I remember rightly, James, but I've sailed with you before. This is this is winching and grinding and racing the yachts between them. Uh, and, and in fact, when I've spoken to a guest that's done this before now, that they, they asked them, well, where did you sail to? And they, they couldn't remember. They were so immersed in the moment and in the sailing experience, they didn't really care on whereabouts they were when they were sailing as well. There's, there's two tank dives, there's rock climbing, there's golf courses in Alaska that we'll take you on to. So that's the more you know, adventurous side. But then, of course, you've got the cuisine when you can go and uh, eat with a local in their house or, or you can, uh, um, you know, go for a walk or a run along uh, um, through Bordeaux with a local there or go on a wine tour and all of these things to really make sure you get, get in-depth and, and into it as well, which is just really one of the benefits. In actual fact, uh, um, the free shore excursions came out as a result of the financial crash back in 2008, I think mm -hmm. it was. And rather than um, reducing price, we added in more value. And by adding in the value, uh, um, it, it just proved to be the key differentiator. And even now, actually, this year, uh, we've just introduced um, um, free valet laundry as, a, as a, an included um, benefit on there as well. So we're putting more into the, uh, um, the inclusions rather than less. So hopefully that's benefiting our guests. And, and, and more importantly is we're seeing a lot of first-time region people moving up uh, um, or guests, sorry, from from our premium and other look well from a premium and uh, um, um, larger vessels, where they don't want to travel necessarily with thousands of people in the in the best suites on there. They're looking to come and travel with fewer people on on you know on medium small to medium sized ships. So we've got on our smallest vessel 490 guests, and on our largest vessel Explorer and Splendor 750. But on those larger ones the same size ships can be configured to about 2000 people. So it really does have the opportunity to have space on board. And that's, that's what we sell. We sell space and we sell convenience. So your guests can come on board, don't have to think, don't have to plan. Uh, they've done that beforehand when they're choosing their shore excursions uh, a year before. Now we're now giving the excursions a year before. Uh, um, so it really means they can just relax and, and enjoy their, um, their experience on board as well. Great, no, that, that, that's, that sounds fantastic. I just can't wait to get cruising. I don't know about you, but um, let, let's just explore a, a little bit. So what I've, I've done, I've, I've spoken to a lot of our customers. I, I get emails from our customers all the time. Uh, you know, we give a lot of information and get a lot of uh, feedback. And I think the general consensus is at the moment, you know, the, or the biggest question is, why should I book now? You know, I'm just quite, I'm, I'm mad keen on cruising. I'm going to cruise again. 
Um, you know, but I'm, I'm just going to wait for a little bit because I'm going to see how things unfold uh, that's relative to COVID. I'm going to see what things look like on board. But, you know, you, we're talking now about 2022 and into 2023. So what, why should somebody book right now? Why should somebody pick up the phone to us at Panache Cruises and book a Regent cruise for 2022? You know, I, I think that's going to be the key question on people's uh, minds now. You know, what you, you mentioned the, the price promise, you know, can you give us a little bit more information on that? What does that mean, Paul? Well, so we've got the low deposits, first of all, we're usually 20% deposit. We've now got a 10% deposit for the launch to, to, to enable that to, to get people to commit to go further ahead. Uh, I think that it actually is part of, you want something to look forward to, right? That's one of the benefits of booking a holiday is once you've booked the holiday, you've got that to know that you're going to be traveling there and maybe squeezing another couple you know, in between as well when we know that it's it's safe and well for our guests and our crew to be sailing again. Um, but now really is, is, is um, we, we put our, our price up every quarter. So from the launch pricing, the prices will always in, increase incrementally so that if you book now, it's going to be cheaper than when you book at a later stage because those those prices are going to be going up towards it as well. So for all of these reasons, now is the time really to, to guarantee that. And actually, you know, Japan is another area that is, that they will sell out. You know, we've got a handful of cruises in Japan, which each, each year sell out quicker. We know the destinations which are popular. The Lisbon Cape Town, when we mentioned, will sell out early. Uh, I mean, these are the ones, particularly long haul, where you should really look at securing to secure your suite on these incredible ships. I mean, Seven Seas Splendor, we spoke about Explorer. Uh, I was on board Splendor um, um, earlier on this year. We got two cruises away before they were paused in March. And the quality of the, of the, the vessel, the, the fixtures, the furnishings, the, the carpet, the towels, the silly things like this, you know, it is just incredible. And, and uh, you know, I love Regent, as, as I would do for, for the job that I have. But, but to, to, to go and step back on just brought it all back to me again. I was so fortunate. I got to travel in a, in a penthouse suite and we've reconfigured the penthouse suite slightly more. We have a, you know, you can now move between the walk-in closet into the bathroom directly on these, which you can't do on Explorer. Uh, and, and it's those kind of little details, which is why it is luxury perfected. That's how we've referred it. So we took the most luxurious ship in the world and now we've perfected her with our experience on board Explorer as well. So to get on board these ships in the areas that are really popular. Uh, um, and I say back to that world cruise again, that sold out, you know, within a week of it going on sale, uh, the full world cruise, no segments. Y y these are the reasons why there are a lot of people that haven't sailed or haven't traveled in 2020. Uh, and they're going to be looking to travel probably in the latter part from what we're seeing at the moment to the end of 2021 uh, is showing really, really good traction now, particularly in people booking uh, um, and moving on to 22, 23. We're hopeful this time. I haven't got my watch on me. What time is it now? There you go. It's been on sale now for about 40 minutes. So I should, I should, I should go and log into my system and see how the, how the bookings are looking now as well. Uh, um, but certainly, I mean, for your experience on board, uh, um, Pacific Rim is one of my favorite restaurants, which is a Pan-Asian uh, restaurant that we had. Do you remember dining there? Did you dine there at all? Yeah, I designed it, uh, dined in Pacific Rim, love uh, Asian food. I, I mean, I love most foods, to be honest with you, but... You are yeah. a bit of a foodie, aren't you? I remember that. Yeah, yeah. for, for me, Compass Rose with the, um, the the menu where you can choose loads of different things and, you know, it's you, there's thousands of different combinations of things that you can choose. I thought that was great because you know on most ships that would be called the main restaurant but it, it, it's not really that is it let's be honest on region it's just another speciality restaurant um that uh, you know caters for a few more people so i thought that was that was fantastic You're right the intricacies to deliver that where you have a table of i don't know six as it may be or four wherever the number may be but to deliver individual portions to, to have the the uh, um you know um, the lobster tail with uh, at the 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 uh, um the sauteed mushrooms along and all these different individual ones personally designed by yourself you know on, on, as you choose it to deliver that the, the technicality behind the scenes to do that is phenomenal and again i've not seen that done in any other restaurant i've been and i've been very very fortunate to 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 dine in in, in uh, mission star restaurants in in many cities around the world and and the food on board that we deliver is just absolutely incredible and has to be tried so it really is it isn't just about the inclusions that's an important part 
but it is it is the quality it is the, the premium ingredients that we provide uh, um, which really do make a difference and the service that we provide to deliver those well which really really do make a difference to the product and, and i appreciate you letting me um, talk about this here today as well no, it's it's a it's a pleasure. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm just like I say, I'm just uh, even, even more eager to get on a cruise ship myself. But uh, you know, I, and I think the other thing to mention as well that uh, Panache Cruises, we've got some exclusive uh, deals and opportunities with you as well for for launch, uh, and we've got a few giveaways as well for for those early bookings for uh, 22 and 23. The the product that's gone on on sale today. So um, you know. Uh, Call, call us and speak to a connoisseur and, and they'll guide uh, guide you through um, what's available to us. So, you know, Paul, it, it's been fantastic speaking to you today. So um, any any closing comments from you? No, really to say thank you very much for there. Uh, um, there is the world to see out there. Uh, um, you know, we're all desperate to get traveling again. Uh, hopefully we should be announcing and we should be back on the water as soon as possible because the ships aren't sailing at the moment. So we're really desperate. We're a cruise company. We want to get back onto the water. Uh, and as soon as we do, we'll be announcing that, uh, um, you know, through Panache Cruises uh, and, and shine as loud and as clear as we can, because we'll be very, very keen to get back on when it is safe and proper to do so for our guests and, uh, and for our crew also at the same time as well. So really appreciate the time, James. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, let's speak soon, right? Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Cheers. Nice to speak to you. And you. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.